Good morning, everyone. Hope you all are doing very well. At today's in English language, we are going to do the chapter number twenty. That is in, on, under, behind, near. So we are going to learn about all these five words. These are also known as the prepositions. Again, I am going to repeat all the words for you all. In, on, under, behind, near. What do we mean by in, on, under, behind, near? We are going to learn about these words. What do we mean by in, on, under, behind, near? And when and where we use them? For you all, I have prepared something on my book. As you all can see, there is a picture. Then I am also going to use my chalk box for you all. Fine. With the help of this, I am going to introduce you with the in, on, under, behind, and near. See, I am using my duster. If I say the duster is in the box, that means I have kept my duster in this box. Right? That is. Again, I am doing again all for you all. My duster is in the box. Fine. This is in. Now the next word is on. My duster is on the box. When we have kept something over it, top of it, that is on. Fine. The third one is under. I am using the same objects right now. Then I'll use the other objects also with you all. So next word is under. For under, it means that we have not kept something inside it. No, we have not kept something over it. No, instead we have kept the thing under. That is known as under. So my duster is under the box. Fine. In on under we have done. Now the next word is behind. Behind means that something is hiding. Again, I'll do it for you all, like this. It is behind. That is not inside. That is not over at the top. No, that is not at the bottom. Also, instead, वो उसके पीछे है, behind है. That is hiding. ठीक है? Like this. It's behind. The duster is behind the container or behind the box. Right? The last word is near. The last word is near. My duster is near the box. It's close. It's near the box. On one side or the other, but it's near the box. Let me explain you the same topic with the help of what I have drawn on the board for you all. So the first one I do with the in. See, the spoon is. In the glass, I have been speaking about this word. So the spoon is in the glass. My spoon is kept inside the glass. In the second picture, we are talking about the ball. In the second picture, we are talking about the ball. So the ball is on the chair. It is kept over the chair. So it is on the chair. Whereas in the third picture. The boy, the man, that is under the tree. As you all can see, the man is standing under the tree. So the man is under the tree. I hope it's that much is clear to you all. Now coming to the next word, that is behind. What do we mean by behind? Behind means like someone is hiding behind at the back. So the man is behind the house or the hut. Right? The man is hiding behind the house. The last one, near. Like someone is sitting near, standing near, or it is kept just nearby. So the cat is near the cake. Let me show you. The cat over here. The cat is near the cake. So what we are getting over here? We are using the words to relate with the object or the other things. Fine. So we are using some different, different preposition words to relate between these two things. 
हम इन दोनों का रिलेशन बता रहे हैं रिलेशन इन द इन कंडीशन ऑफ द पोजिशन वेयर दे आर सो वी आर टेलिंग द रिलेशन बिटवीन देम अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर पोजिशन सो दैट इज वाई वी आर यूजिंग दीज फाइव डिफरेंट वर्ड्स आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल प्लीज गो थ्रू द वीडियो अगेन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी यू कैन ऑल्सो आस्क मी ऑन द ई फीडबैक थैंक यू सो मच दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडेज क्लास गुड बाय टेक केयर वेल See you soon